Today, I'll be showcasing how I use the Zettelkasten method within my Notion second brain. Zettelkasten is a method for personal knowledge management that has stood the test of time. From pens and note cards and old filing cabinets to now using this method digitally on apps like Notion, Rome Research, and Obsidian. Zettelkasten was used extensively by Nicholas Luhmann, who is a German sociologist and philosopher. Using this method, he published 70 books in his lifetime and nearly 400 scholarly articles. Keep in mind, this was far before the days of Notion and ChatGPT. Nicholas would handwrite brief notes on his note cards and then tuck them away in a filing system that he called Zettelkasten. And Zettelkasten is literally just a German word that translates into the English language as note box. So they're basically just boxes of notes arranged in alphabetical order and then easily accessed when you want to come back to those thoughts. Nowadays, we like to implement similar systems, but in a more efficient way. And we also have new mediums of communication like video. We also have the internet and all these amazing tools that make it easier to take notes. And modern note takers have started to turn their cheek to folders and filing systems like this because they're all about search nowadays, right? Can I search it? How searchable is it? How can I tag it so that I can search it? These are the things that note takers are typically concerned with. Now, while this system I'm going to show you offers search functionality, it also has a folder slash topic system within it. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I've implemented Zettelkasten digitally in my Notion second brain. And I'm also going to show you how I'm using it to create videos like this one, business ideas, and other types of published work that can be brought to life from different inspiring sources that I've drawn from. Here we are inside of my Notion second brain. This system does two things for me. It helps me keep track of my tasks on a daily basis and also keeps track of knowledge using this Zettelkasten system down here. So it's actually very easy to quickly add new topics, but I try to keep these topics limited, although it may look like there's quite a few right now. Right now we're sorted by most popular, which means if I click into one of these at the top, they're gonna have quite a few notes in them. Like self-improvement is my second highest topic. And this one here has quite a few notes. And even if I wanted to click 16 more, there would be even more notes appearing. And where this is a bit different from the way that Nicholas might have set up his Zettelkasten system is that this also has bookmarks. So I can quickly head over to a website that I might have been interested in. So just to show you how this works a bit, I'm going to click into this monk mode note here. So this is based on a YouTube video that I watched. So I have the source here, as you can see. This is similar to Zettelkasten in the sense that he would write down his sources very clearly. So then when he was publishing his work, he could go back and cite that source. For me, the source is more so there so that I can go back and watch the video if I'm interested in it, because this particular box of self-improvement is more just for me achieving self-improvement. It's, it's for me to get closer to that goal. But I just took a very quick note on some of the things that that video had mentioned trying to implement. If I was working on SEO for a website, I could click into my SEO Zettelkasten box, and that would provide me with some useful guides on SEO. These are based on videos and articles and different things that I've personally tried that I've picked up over the years. So if I'm working on a big website, I might pin this SEO topic so that it shows up under my pinned topics right here. This area would only show pinned topics. And like I mentioned before, this system is for tasks and for notes so it works hand in hand so if my tasks are related to like let's say building websites i could go into my topics pin seo i could also go ahead and pin website design and i could pin humways tools which is just a list of different tools that i use to build websites and now everything that's pinned right here on my home screen is going to aid me in creating websites I can quickly click into any of these and I can access my notes or my bookmarks that are related to these topics. I can also come in here and view all topics alphabetically. So this is just going to go from A to Z. Now let's imagine I wanted to get a better view at all of my notes and I wanted to just search throughout the system broadly. This is the more modern approach that's being talked about, just the overall searchability of your notes in a sense. But for me, I found that these topic folders work quite well when it comes to working on something specific. I can pin them to my dashboard here, and then they're just always there. And what you consume is what you're going to get. So I also like putting things in front of me that are going to help me out. 
I like fixing my environment, even within a system in a computer to help me get closer to my goals. Next, I'm going to head over to my calibrate page and you'll notice that here in the same system, I have all of the areas of my life listed out and I have some goals that have clear end results. So since I'm working on launching a website right now, these particular bookmarks are going to come in handy when I need to do that. And as I complete my tasks throughout the day, I can just click right here and hit complete. The beauty of the system is if you do want to search within it, you can also go to notes right here and you can search within all of your notes. I have a public tab and a personal tab. So these public notes are notes that I'm good sharing with you guys since I do have a lot of screen time with this system. I like to create a make private button. So if I wanna make a note private like this script for productive brain video, I would just click on it. And now it's over in my personal tab. If I'd like to, I can hit this search button right here and I can start searching for a note. So let's say I wanted to search for the topic of real estate and I'm going to get everything in here that has to do with real estate. And they also are all related to my real estate topic. So I can click into my real estate topic now and I can see all of those notes listed. And I can also just click directly into any of these notes and I can read about it. If you'd like to purchase the Productive Brain template, you can click the link in the top pinned comment. Or if you wanna learn more about Notion and you wanna build something like this for yourself from scratch, check out this playlist that I made right here that contains 80 plus educational videos on how to use Notion for completely free. All right, we'll see you in the next one.